Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts at Home and uh, today I'm going to share with you these uh, pattern boards that we have created and uh, so basically for this I have used whatever extra paper I had at home and uh, over the years the, all the gift wrapping sheets that we bought and all the extra um, uh, magazines covers or the other kinds of papers because I mean I, I do a lot of uh, DIY and handmade activities so I have a, a lot of textured paper and design papers so I have accumulated everything together and uh, then we tried um, create we, we just tried creating all these boards for us so I'm going to show you how and how easy was uh, it to create with Vivan and how are we going to extend it as a great activity so what we did was first we collected a lot of papers so uh, we we had cut everything in uh, like a rectangle or a square exactly the way we wanted and uh, so this is what exactly that I have left with me and uh, as soon as I had this so I had like a couple of sheets and um, once this was created we had cut them into like squares or rectangles and this is a this was a great fine motor skill activity for Vivan and uh, he enjoyed cutting all these tidbits of papers that you see everywhere here so we first made a lot of paper cuttings and we had kept in a, this in this box and then what we did we take we took a lot of cardstock so like simple colored sheets of different colors and um, then we had cut them into rectangles and there's just one big sheet that we have used so we have cut them into small rectangles and then what Vivan uh, he suggested that mom let's try and do only colors at one place and somewhere it's random somewhere it's just the pattern so I, I, I'll show you like this this is only blue so what he did whatever pieces he had cut so he first gathered all the blue colors with different patterns and he had stuck them here so there is not a single pattern where we have followed in like sticking them but definitely if you see the similarity or the common element here is the color that we've used blue and all the different kinds of patterns that we that were available we have also like used this twice here and and here but in a different way so once this was created what i'm going to do now is like this was all done so this was activity number one where we just created the boards the second thing i'm going to do is that whatever is left here because we have kept the counterparts here because i knew i'll keep that in mind uh, like we have these remaining sheets and Vivan has to cut them back again to make exactly the same thing that he has made it again so it's a pretty good replicate copy and uh, making the patterns again and he needs to make sure the way this has uh been pasted he needs to do it exactly in the same way in the other one so this was one which was uh, the color theme was common then here we have uh, the common part is that they are all part of the rainbow theme so uh, if you can see we have all different kinds and wherever they had there were multiple colors we have all like put it back together and it's on an orange sheet that's behind here so again uh, it was a fun way and, and the best part is you um, are actually encouraging them to learn about the different uh, textures and designs that go like you have the stripes, you have the polka dots, you have the big dots, you have the crisscross and then you have the hexagonal pattern designs. Uh, they're pretty good when um, even when they like observe uh, on our tapestry or the linen that we use in the house. So after doing this, Vivan uh, has started noticing a lot when I change the cushions and if there are any kinds of polka dots there. So he would say, uh, this is very similar to what we did. So I think it was a great activity uh, in just like giving him um, uh, just like a broad uh, prospect, like how many textures or designs uh, go through when they are designing a lot of clothes or linen or a lot of other stuff in terms of um, bedding and clothing so that was one uh, then the third one is here that is yellow and if you'll see uh, what I have uh, done here along with Vivan so um, this one was very tricky because we have very these are very similar but there are very teeny mini um, uh, there, there's a very little difference in this one especially and just one card which is different here so when Vivan will be replicating it it will be more tricky for him because these are they look very similar but there is a very little difference between uh, this one and this one and then you have these designs here so I think replicating this one will be very very tricky 
so that's one then we have one which was exact completely random like all different colors all put together uh, in uh, in whatever way he wanted so this is great because he's like going back again and again and he's trying to like do a matching activity also like because he just wants to pick up something from here if he sees this is here it will go here so it, rather than like creating another one you can actually also use just this and you can like complete the activity but i think it'll be great for him because as a five-year-old child he'll be able to pick up a purple paper he needs to cut it into a rectangle and then find all these papers and then he needs to use a glue and create the board one more time because the first one we did together i think the second one uh, will be a great independent activity for him so this is one and then another one here we have big rectangles and a square somewhere that we have created for this he needs a white paper just a white background paper and then he'll be able to create this a uh, few more uh, another random design then uh, this is a basically a simple pattern that we have used we've tried using uh, similar uh, paper cuttings in a different way so that they can show it's creating a pattern and when he will be replicating it he needs to do it in the same way then you have something with the green again and then with the pink and red or whatever. So guys, even if you don't have uh, an extra set of paper, I would definitely say that you can buy origami papers because they're not very expensive. And at the same time, origami sheets can be used in, uh, in different ways. And they are pretty great because it's easy for the kids to cut and uh, at the same time this this it's a lot of color and you can uh, you can definitely use it in a lot of other activities so because i have been like collecting paper and i have a lot of stock of sheets and paper so it was easy for me to create but you can definitely use or you can ask your child to like two different colors or different kinds of white paper and then you can all cut it together and and create a board so i'm going to use all of them and i'm going to put it on my learning board just as one of the activities that we have done so guys, if you think this activity is different and uh, it's pretty cool, do give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, do uh, leave a comment below. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.